In my line of work, I meet a lot of music composers who are not interested in the music licensing game. Why? DelicateBeats.com Because of the low prices for licenses. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what they fail to understand. First, let's define music licensing so that everybody's on the same page. According to Wikipedia, music licensing is a business practice by which a copyright holder, the music producer, grants the right to use his copyrighted work, the beat, publicly. Types of licensing contracts include 1. A flat fee for a defined period of usage and 2. Royalty payments determined by the number of copies of the work sold or the total revenues acquired as a result of its distribution. Now, let's define what a license is. Again, according to Wikipedia, it is an agreement between the composer or library acting as the composer's publisher and the person or entity who want to use the song. The license has three main parts. The media, so where the music will play, TV, radio, internet. The term, so for how long will the person be able to use the song or beat. And finally, three, the territory, so whether it's a national campaign or an international one. Most likely, if you get into the stock music game like myself, you will pretty much sell the following type of license. So the media is going to be internet, the term is usually perpetuity, and the territory is international. The market has shifted towards this type of license to accommodate buyers, and by doing so, have dramatically boosted their sales volume. I found this cool article on the website newartistmodel.com, which shows six ways to use music licensing to make $3,000. So it's a little table uh, that has three columns, which are first the buyer type, then the license cost, and finally the number of sales required to meet that $3,000 mark. So the first scenario is selling music to a YouTuber at $20 a piece. It takes you 150 sales to reach $3,000. If you sell music to a videographer at $60, you will need 50 sales. If you sell music for an indie film soundtrack at $200, you need 15 sales. If you sell music for an indie film trailer at $500, then you only need 6 sales. If you sell exclusive rights to your music for a corporate video at $1000, you need 3 sales. And finally, if you sell music for an advertisement at $3,000, you only need one sale. So this breakdown shows you just how manageable it is to reach $3,000 using the music licensing model. At the power of the internet, a steady supply of returning customers, thanks to music marketplaces, and you get the secret recipe myself and thousands of composers worldwide use to make a living. Another great aspect of music licensing is that creators get to keep their intellectual property. Back in the day, especially when working with TV and film production companies, you pretty much had to sell your intellectual property when you sold them the music. So this new model is a win-win-win situation. You can sell your beats as many times as you want, you keep your intellectual property, and many more customers can benefit from your great music at a much lower price. Another awesome aspect of music licensing are royalties paid through your PRO or performance rights organization. In the US you have BMI and ASCAP, I myself am Canadian so I work with SOCAN. So this means that if you sell a license for a TV show, you get upfront money, usually around $200, and you get your royalties on the back end. That's a second stream of income from this single music sale. If you're interested in starting to license your beats, I wrote a book that details exactly how I achieved it. The title is The Bedroom Super Producer, available as a PDF ebook on 
my website, delicatebeats.com. And if you're more of the paperback type, you can go to Amazon. If you like this information, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram at Delicate Beats. I'll be rolling out a lot of information around this subject in the coming month and I don't want you to miss out on a very special offer that I'll be launching in November. So stay tuned.